Thank you, Jesus Christ. Glory be to God in the highest. Amen. Glory be to God forever. Amen. Father, we thank you. Lord Jesus, we bless your holy name. Thank you for another day in your presence. Thank you for your goodness. Thank you because you are always there to help us. Thank you for your grace. Please accept our worship in Jesus' name. Lord Almighty, you have done so much for us. We are forever appreciative of your kindness and goodness towards us. Please speak to every one of us today in Jesus' name. Inspire us. Enlighten our darkness in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. We have prayed, amen, forever, O oh Lord, your word is settled in heaven, it is settled, it is settled forever, O oh Lord, your word is settled in heaven, it is settled. Thank you, Jesus. We give him praise in Jesus' name for another day in Jesus' name. Today, Thursday, January 27, 2022, the Open Heavens devotional written by Father and the Lord, Pastor E. E. Adeboye, is coming to you wherever you are. May the Lord speak to you in Jesus' name. Our topic today is the source of living water. The source of living water. And our memory verse is John chapter 4, verse 10. John chapter 4, verse 10. It says, If thou knowest the gift of God, and who it is that said to you, Give me to drink, thou wouldest have asked of him, and he would have given thee living water. Let me read it again. John chapter 4, verse 10. If thou knowest the gift of God, and who it is that said to thee, give me to drink, thou wouldest have asked of him, and he would have given thee the living water. The living water. And our Bible reading is from the same John chapter 4, we read from verse 7. John chapter 4, from verse 7. There cometh a woman of Samaria to draw water. Jesus said unto her, Give me to drink. For his disciples were gone away unto the city to buy meat. Then said the woman of Samaria unto him, How is it that thou, being a Jew, ask a drink of me, which am a woman of Samaria? For the Jews have no dealings with the Samaritans. Jesus answered and said unto her, If thou knowest the gift of God, and who it is that saith unto you, Give me to drink. Thou wouldest have asked of him, and he would have given thee living water. And he would have given thee living water. The source of living water. The source of living water. May the Lord bless us as we read and understand the word of God today in Jesus' name. Water is named and classified primarily based on its source. For example, salt water is from the sea, rain water is from the sky, hard water is from the ground, fresh water from the rivers, and so on and so forth. Today, we'll be discussing the source of living water. Jesus is the only source of living water. Jesus is the only source of living water. Our memory verse says, Jesus answered and said unto her, If thou knowest the gift of God, and who it is that said unto thee, Give me to drink, thou wouldest have asked of him, and he would have given you the living water. Jesus is the source of living water. Water that gives life and eternal life for that matter. However, to assess this living water, we must first and foremost accept Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior. 
If you want to assess the living water, you must assess Jesus Christ as your Lord and your Savior. Jesus made this clear in John 7, 38. John 7, 38. He that believed on me, as the scripture has said, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. That's what Jesus said. So you need Jesus to assess the living water. You need Jesus to assess that which no man can give to you. Jesus is the only source of living water. Hence, you must be born again. Hallelujah. In our Bible reading today, Jesus encountered a woman, the Samaritan woman, but she did not know that the only one that can quench the test of her life is Jesus Christ. Though she asked many questions, at the end of the day, she later discovered that what she needed in life is who was talking to her. Our Lord Jesus then engaged her in the conversation so as to open her eyes to that need of her life by asking her to give him physical water to drink in exchange of living water. Jesus said, give me water and I have something that is more than physical water. As if that was not enough, Jesus promised her that she needed only to drink the living water once and then it will produce rivers of living water that will spring through all eternity. We can see that in verse 14. Verse 14, John 4, 14. He said, but whosoever drinketh of the water that I shall give him shall never test. But the water that I shall give shall be in him a well of water springing up into everlasting life. Wow. So it does not even end here. Whatever you take from Jesus, immediately you assess it, it will produce well of spring of water all through life and even into eternity. Jesus is the source of living water. Beloved, Jesus Christ is calling you today to come and drink freely of the spiritual water of salvation, which will be given to you to find fulfillment, all around fulfillment, all around joy, all around satisfaction, here on earth and also in eternity. It doesn't end here. It will give you all around fulfillment, all around satisfaction, here on earth and also in heaven. I believe in Jesus. And I believe that he is not a man that he lies. He is the source of living water. Taste him and see that the Lord is good. And not only that, your eternity is secured in him. So Jesus took care of the Samaritan woman's spiritual and emotional torment in our Bible test of today. Yours too can be taken care of. All your needs can be met. All your desire can be satisfied because Jesus is the source of living water. So no matter what it is, you can live a purposeful and joyful life in Christ Jesus because he is able to satisfy you. He is able to meet you at the point of your needs, irrespective of what you have gone through. Can you imagine that woman? He has gone through five, in quote, husbands. And the one with him, with her now, not the husband. So Jesus saw her emotional trauma. He saw her pain. He saw her physical need, her psychological need. And Jesus said, what I'm going to give to you is going to settle you here and even into eternity. May that be your portion in Jesus' name. Every bugging issue, every bugging question that has troubled your mind, the Lord will visit you in the name of Jesus Christ. I believe if you open up, he will feed you. He said, if any man tells, let him come to me and I will give him water of life. And the Lord bless you in Jesus' name. Jesus Christ, the source of living water, is inviting you to come in. Come unto him. That's what the Bible says in Matthew 11, 28 to 30. Come unto me, all you that labor, that are heavy lady, I will give you rest. He said in that verse 14, he said, whoever drinketh of the water that I shall give shall never test, shall never test. May you find satisfaction and fulfillment 
in him today in Jesus' name. Amen. Eat this call and you will never test again. Heal this call to assess water of life and you will never test again. And the spirit and the bride say, Come and let him that hear it say, Come and let him that attest come. And whoever will, let him take water of life freely. That is in both Proverbs chapter 22, verse 17. Proverbs chapter 22, verse 17. Come, drink. If you are thirsty, come, drink. It is given to you, and that water of life is given to you freely as you open your heart today in Jesus' name. Jesus is the source of living water. Don't miss it today. Give your life to Jesus. As John 7, 37, 38, or to 39 says, out of your belly shall flow rivers of living water if only you open your heart to him in Jesus' name. Our prayer point today says, Father, here I come today. Give me the water of life until I want no more in the mighty name of Jesus. You remember that popular song? Fill my cup, Lord. I need it, Lord. I lift it up to you. Come and quench the test of my soul. I lift it up. Come and quench the test of my soul. He's the only one that can satisfy the test of your soul. Give it to him in the name of Jesus Christ. Our hymn today is M3. M3. Deeper, deeper in the love of Jesus. Daily let me grow. As you open your heart to him, it will feed you, it will satisfy you, it will give you rest in Jesus' name. So shall it be in Jesus' name. So our memory verse today is John chapter 4, verse 10. If thou knowest the gift of God, and who it is that said to you, give me to drink, thou will have us ask of him, and he will have given thee the living water. He will have given you the living water. Jesus is the source of the living water. May you be satisfied. May you assess that living water today and your life, like the Samaritan woman, your life will never remain the same. Give your life to Jesus. Allow him to fill you once again. And your life will never be empty. Your life will not be dry, but it shall flow of the glory of God in Jesus' name. Amen. Shall we please pray? Father, we bless your holy name. Lord Jesus, we give you praise. Thank you for your faithfulness upon our lives. Thank you for your mercy. Please accept our worship in Jesus' name. Lord Almighty, we open our heart to be filled once again of the water of life. Let our lives never remain the same. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord rests upon you, and may you never Miss the water that is freely given from above. Jesus Christ, in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. Amen.